We are at the intersection of Liberty and Garrison in Northwest Baltimore. This is one of four locations where the feds say they put drug crews out of business. But the United States attorney here in Baltimore. The citywide takedown federal prosecutors announced today took kilos of heroin and fentanyl off the streets. And according to the indictments, came despite the defendants using counter surveillance measures and encrypted apps to avoid detection. These results that we're going to talk about today are the fruit of months of painstaking investigative work. The arrests, U.S. Attorney Robert Hur said, also the result of partnerships. Baltimore City Police Commissioner Michael Harrison believes the operation has made a difference. I think we have, and there are members of communities who call us and tell us that they see the takedowns and they notice. We asked the U.S. Attorney why it appears his boss hasn't noticed. The indictments announced six days after the president started trashing Baltimore City on Twitter. Robert Hur answered with what he knows for sure. The opinion of the administration has not had an impact on his resources or his resolve. There's been absolutely no impact. I've had a fabulous, really close partnership and relationship with Commissioner Harrison and with Ms. Mosby uh, before uh, the weekend. Mm -hmm. I have it now and I'm confident that I will continue to have that. And then U.S. Attorney Herr walked next door to a community resource fair and listened to community members, especially it seemed to those who were not applauding the arrests. Jail is not always the answer because that didn't change me. I changed myself. The U.S. Attorney's Office tells 11 News their announcement was always planned to coincide with that community resource fair and was on the calendar before Saturday when the president went on Twitter and went on the attack. In Northwest Baltimore, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.